Hey, catch this game, though, man. Hey, hey, looking at these young, young ones, though, man. These little, little niggas, young, bro. Young. They got hit with that, uh, with that murder, bro. You see what I'm saying? You know the life of uh, Sonia Nicholson's man. Uh, she was a baby who was uh, hit by a straight bullet. You see what I'm saying? Um, allegedly, it was a shootout. Niggas didn't know where they was aiming. You see what I'm saying? Bullets went everywhere, and a young baby got hit. You see what I'm saying? And um, even a driver got hit with the murder. You feel me? Let's check it out. Man, they looking like it's over, bro. It's over. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. You already know what that carry, man. That carry that L. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And um, in the state of Ohio, they don't even get down like that, man. It's been, you know, this happened a little while back, but when I was looking at the story, I'm like, let me do a reaction on it, cuz. Like, like, I think a lot of people don't see the youngsters that's getting, you know what I'm saying, um, crashing out. That's that's, 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 that's catching these cases, you understand me? Like, y'all don't really see that, you know what I'm saying? Like, these little niggas, like, look at them, bro. Like, this ain't nothing to play with, bro. They heads down. Look, two of the, all of their heads is down right now. If y'all paying attention, their heads are down. See what I'm saying? It, it ain't nothing to play with, bro. This shit is serious. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning it is my duty to advise you of your constitutional rights. These instructions are important, so please listen carefully. Under the Constitution of the United States and the State of Ohio, persons charged with the commission of an offense are guaranteed certain basic rights. They are the right to know and understand the charges against you, the right to a speedy trial, the right to a trial by a jury, or you can give up that right and have your case tried directly by a judge without a jury. At trial, the state of Ohio has the burden of proving your guilt by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. You have the right to meet your accusers face to face and to cross-examine witnesses for the prosecution. You also have the right to summon or subpoena witnesses on your own behalf. You do not have to testify against yourself. You have the right to counsel. If you're unable to afford an attorney, the court will appoint a lawyer to defend you. You will be assessed a $25 fee for an appointed attorney. You will not be denied an attorney if you're unable to pay this fee. At the end of your case, you may be ordered to pay the fee if your judge determines you are financially able. If you choose to hire an attorney... Dang, cuz. They can't even process the petty information. Like, niggas is like, man, like, nigga, you know how much it costs for a defense attorney to fight a, 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 a you know what I'm saying, a murder case? You see what I'm saying? Murder one, bro, that costs a gang of money that these little, little niggas don't got, bro. You see what I'm saying? Um, man, just just looking at them, just making niggas just pray like, uh, you feel me? Like, niggas got to make sure when they do shit, they do shit right. Because, nigga, if you do it the wrong way, nigga, you, go out, you crash out, nigga. It ain't no coming back. You see what I'm saying? They life is over. You know what I'm saying? Well, God, hopefully they might make it out of this. You know what I'm saying? Um. But like I said, a baby was involved with that. Um, from my knowledge, I don't think nobody really know who hit that baby when bullets is flying like that, but they just happened to be the ones that got caught. You see what I'm saying? And they kids, they teenagers. Only one is, you know what I'm saying? A teen, 
them two dudes is a teenager. The other one is, I think, like 20, 21 or something. See what I'm saying? But them two right there, they teenagers. They still in their teens. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the state of Ohio, capital murder, you know what I'm saying? That's still an L. You see what I'm saying? Tried as an adult. Ain't no coming back from that, bro. They Niggas got a process like, damn, nigga, if I lose this, nigga, it's uh, over. You know what I'm saying? That feeling. Let's go. Attorney, you have a right to a reasonable continuance to hire one. You are not here for the trial of your case this morning. You are here for your arraignment. An arraignment is your opportunity to be informed of the charges against you, for bond to be set, and for you to enter your plea. You do not have to make any statement about the charges against you, but any statement made by you can be used against you. As your name is called, please step forward. You will be asked when you received a copy of your indictment or information and whether or not you understand the charges against you. By law, you have 24 hours before you must respond to the indictment or information. If it has been less than 24 hours since you received a copy of your indictment or information, but you wish to be arraigned anyway, you may waive the 24-hour notice and we will complete your arraignment this morning. If your case is going forward by way of information, I will ask your attorney to place on the record that they discussed with you waiving presentment of your case to the grand jury. You will be asked four questions. If you understand the charges against you, if you knowingly and willingly sign the waiver, if you consent that charges proceed by information instead of indictment, and if you wish to continue to be arraigned by waiving the 24-hour notice and the reading of the information. You will be asked how you plead. A defendant may plead not guilty, not guilty by reason of insanity or with the consent of court, no contest. If you want to plead guilty and you do not have an attorney, the court will assign counsel for you so that you may have a full understanding of your constitutional rights. Your case will be assigned to a judge whether you plead guilty or not guilty. If you refuse to plead, the court will enter a not guilty plea on your behalf. If you have been charged with the crime of violence and or drug offense, under Ohio law, you cannot knowingly have, carry, or use a gun, a firearm, or a dangerous weapon until your case is concluded. This is called being under a disability. If you violate this disability, you could be charged with a separate felony offense in addition to the original charges you are being arraigned for today. Even if you have a CCW permit, you are still under a disability until your case is over. In fact, upon indictment, the sheriff who issued the permit shall suspend it until your case is over. Finally, if you are over 18 and you have not provided a DNA specimen since 2011, you may be required to submit one within 24 hours of your arraignment. Inmates in the county jail have the right to be present in the courtroom Mr. Corrigan, do you have anyone in the jail that wishes to be in the courtroom this morning? Uh, two men, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Duquan Martin and Rodney Cuthbertson. We're going to send them over tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Mr. Corrigan. We're ready for You're the welcome. first case. We'll start in courtroom, case number 630080, co-defendant A, Devontae Nettles. 